Mangrove flats are well known as good fishing spots, but not all offer good fishing. This video provides some tips for evaluating mangrove flats for fishing quality. In this topside view, although the bottom is a patchwork of different colors, it is apparent that this is a flat, featureless bottom habitat. The view from below confirms this. The limestone bottom has no cracks or holes to harbor prey, and there are no signs of bonefish prey in the video. There is no algae on the roots, which indicates that this flat is frequently exposed to air. This is a flat best skipped. This is a similar flat exposed at low tide. The mangrove roots are bare and the bottom is flat and featureless. In contrast, a quick look from above reveals that this bottom is much more complex with plenty of hiding places for bonefish prey. There are three signs this is a good flat for bonefish. First, there is good algae growth on the limestone bottom. Second, the algae is mixed with open bottom covered by sand and mud and very sparse seagrass. You can see shrimp mounds in this frame. The mangrove prop roots are covered by algae. All of these indicate that this flat has water on it most of the time, which means that it will hold more prey and thus attract more bonefish. The height of algae growth on the mangrove prop roots indicates the water level through about 50% of the tidal cycle. In other words, there's water on this flat much of the time. The higher the growth of algae on the roots, the deeper the water during typical tides. You can also see patches of dark bottom where small organisms like crabs and mantis shrimp have been digging in the bottom. This is a flat worth spending some time on looking for bonefish through much of the tidal cycle. This photo provides another example of a good mangrove flat. You can see the white sand of the shrimp mounds mixed among seagrass and open sand bottoms. This is an example of a medium quality mangrove flat. On the one hand, the algae doesn't cover much more than 5 inches of the prop roots, which means that the water on this flat is usually rather shallow, which is good for tailing bonefish. On the other hand, there are plenty of shrimp holes places where crabs have been digging, and other indications that bonefish can find food here. Unfortunately, when the video was shot, these mangroves were nearly or completely underwater, which indicates that this is an especially high tide. I suggest this is a good flat to check for bonefish during moderate, neat tides, not the very high spring tides when this video was shot. This photo shows how far into the mangroves a strong tide can push water, and if the bottom is good, the bonefish will be here too, so it's worth exploring. I consider this a great mangrove flat. Algae covers much of the mangrove prop roots, indicating this flat has a good level of water on it during most tides. There are plenty of small holes from worms or clams, larger holes from mantis shrimp, and crevices and algae for crabs and small bottom fish like gobies to hide in. This is a flat that I would target during an early rising tide when the bonefish are eager to get onto the flat and chase crabs, shrimp, and other small prey that have been hiding out during low tide. Knowing what to look for on mangrove flats can mean a difference between finding bonefish and just taking a long walk in a pretty place. But if you pay attention to the characteristics of the flats, you can quickly sort the good flats from the bad and maximize your time on the water.